In this lesson, we're going to focus on solving equations using the inverse operation. Inverse means opposite. When solving equations, the goal is always to get the variable all by itself. The way to do that is to do the opposite of whatever constant is with it. For example, anytime you are adding a number to the variable, you'll simply subtract it to get rid of it. If you're subtracting a number from the variable, then you will add it to get rid of it. In so doing, you'll get the variable all by itself. Now remember, with algebra, what you do on one side, you must also do to the other. So you can't just take away a number on one side, but you've got to do it on both sides. So we've got to keep all the rules in mind. I do know that many of these you'll be able to solve in your head. But the purpose of this lesson isn't to get the right answer. The purpose is to learn how to solve equations using the algebraic formula. Even when you can look at an equation and already know the answer, I want you to hold off on that. Use that at the end to check the answer that you got when you solved it. There are five pages in this lesson altogether, and we will do quite a few of them together. It's most important to me that you solve them the correct way. And so going through the steps with you and doing a lot of them step by step is the best way I can ensure that you'll do all of them using the algebraic method of inverse operation. So let's go ahead and start with number one. Notice n has 12 with it. n plus 12 equals 89. The goal again is to get n all by itself. The opposite of positive 12 is negative 12. So I will subtract 12. But remember, this is algebra. We've got to keep both sides balanced. So we'll take away 12 from both sides. When we do that, it cancels out the 12 and leaves us with n on the first side. And then 89 minus 12 gives us 77 on the other side. Therefore, we have our answer, n equals 77. If I go back and check to see if I got it right, I can substitute n with 77, and I check to see 77 plus 12. Since 77 plus 12 is 89, I know that my solution is correct. On to number 2, n minus 56 equals 23. Well, this time I have a negative number. So the opposite of negative 56 is positive 56. So I'll add 56 to both sides. Negative 56 plus 56 cancels out, leaves me with n equals 23 plus 56 is 79. Number three, m minus 43 equals 45. The opposite of negative 43 is positive 43. Add 43 to both sides. That cancels out. We we'll end up with m equals 45 plus 43 is 88. Number four, 62 equals m plus 30. This time m's on the other side, no different. The opposite of positive 30 is negative 30, 62 minus 30 is 32 equals m. I can also write this m equals 32. On the second page, you'll see not only addition and subtraction, but also multiplication and division with the x variable. Let's go ahead and look at the first one. You've got x divided by 2 equals 7. Remember, our goal is to isolate the x. And by doing the inverse operation, we can get the x by itself. The opposite of division is multiplication. So x divided by 2 times 2 would get rid of the 2. But what we do to one side, we do to the other. So if we multiply this by 2, then we'll multiply the other side by 2 x divided by 2 times 2 cancels out the 2, so you're left with x. 
equals 7 times 2 is 14. And if you go back and substitute the x for 14, you'll have 14 divided by 2 equals 7. So you know your answer is correct. Number 2 is similar to those we've already done. x plus 8 equals 35. The opposite of plus 8 is minus 8. Cancel out the 8. x equals 35 minus 8, which is 27. Number 3, 5 times x equals 20. This time you have multiplication, 5 times x. The opposite of multiplication is division. So to get rid of the 5, we'll take 5x divided by 5. Divide 5 by both sides. You end up with x equals 4. And if you check your answer, 5 times 4 is 20. Number 4, x minus 10 equals 40. The opposite of minus 10 is plus 10. I'll add 10 to both sides. The minus 10 cancels out, and, I'm in, and I end up with x equals 50. Number 7, x minus 14. The opposite is plus 14. Add 14 to both sides. x equals 52. On to number 8, x plus 12 equals 53. Subtract 12 from both sides. x equals 53 minus 12 is 41. Number 9, I've got multiplication again. 9 times x equals 54. Divide both sides by 9, and I end up with x equals 54 divided by 9, which is 6. x divided by 4 equals 9. Again, we want to get the x by itself, and right now it's being divided by 4. To get rid of divided by 4, We'll multiply by 4, both sides. We end up with x equals 9 times 4, which is 36. And if I check my answer, 36 divided by 4 is 9. Turn the page to 3 so we can do some of these together. These are basically the same things you've already done but the order is a little bit different, and sometimes that can be a little confusing. The first one is negative 8 plus p equals 17. When you want to get p by yourself, you've got to get rid of that negative 8. The opposite of negative 8 is positive 8, so we'll add 8 to both sides. Negative 8 plus 8 is nothing, so we're left with p equals 17 plus 8 is 25. This time, the variable is on the right side, but that's okay. To get it by itself, we're going to subtract 31 from both sides. 31 cancels out. We're left with 48 minus 31 is 70, 17 equals b. We can also write b equals 17. Let's go to the next one, which I guess is number 5. 17 plus c equals 28. We want to get rid of the 17, so the opposite of positive 17 is negative 17. And we're left with C equals 11. Next, on to, well, number 2, the next column. 85 equals G minus 13. Of course, the opposite of negative 13 is positive 13. We'll add 13 to both sides, and we end up with, let's see, 85 plus 13, 98 equals G, or G equals 98. Number 4, 6 equals negative 20 plus H. I have a negative 20 with the H, so I'll add 20 to both sides. That cancels out. I'm left with 80. 
60 plus 20 is 80 equals H, or H equals 80. Number 6, negative 42 plus N equals 53. The opposite of negative 42 is positive 42. So by adding 42, I'll get rid of the negative 42 and I get N by itself. N equals 95. I want you to do the rest of this page on your own. You'll go on to do all of page 4 on your own. Now let's look over at the last page, page five. We'll just do these four. Number seven, eight times x is 64. The opposite of times eight is divided by eight. I divide both sides by eight. Eight x divided by eight leaves me with just x equals 64 divided by eight is eight. Number eight, x divided by two equals 12. The opposite of divided by two is times two. I'll multiply both sides by two. Two times x divided by two leaves me with x. 12 times two is 24. Number nine, negative 11 plus x equals 89. To get the x by itself, I'll add 11 to both sides. Cancels out. We have 11 equals um, 100. 89 plus 11 is 100. Now on to number 10. 7 equals x divided by 8. To get the x by itself, the opposite of divide by 8 is times 8, so I'll multiply both sides by 8. Um, that cancels out, so we're left with x. 8 times 7 is 56 equals x, or x equals 56. Now, I want you to go back to the beginning of this packet and start with page 1 and Fill in everything that we didn't do in this lesson. If you're not sure about anything, look at the examples on that page. Or if you're on page four, you can look at examples from a different page. But you have plenty of examples for every kind of problem, so you can do it by yourself. Remember, I'm not concerned about the final answer being correct. I'm concerned about all of the steps being done correctly. Once you've mastered the the inverse operation to solve algebraic equations, you'll be able to do a lot more complicated work. I want to start with the simpler one so that you can go back and look to see if your answer is correct. So that when the numbers are a lot more complex and it's harder to think through it in your head, you've got the procedure down so you know you're doing it right.